Hi everybody, Patty Ann here. Hang on just a second. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful plaque. These things make wonderful gifts. People absolutely, absolutely love them. And I really like this one because it's the family tree of birds. Anyway, originally I started going around the internet looking for silhouettes of birds that I liked. And I thought, well, this is kind of crazy. I should go back to uh, Access. I'm a member of Access. And I bet I'll find everything I need right there. And sure enough, every single thing I needed for this cute plaque was in Access. I did choose my own font. It was something that is on my system. But there are plenty of fonts that you could choose from Access or from your system as well. If you aren't a member of Access, I highly recommend it. And I have a link down below so that you can look at the different plans and the payment that's available. And if you use my link down below, I actually get a teeny tiny commission for it. And that helps me to be able to buy more vinyl and supplies so I can make these sample um, tutorials. So anyway, let's get started with the tutorial. I'm going to start where I've already cut everything and I'm weeding and then I'll go back and go through how you do it in Design Space. So join me. Okay, I've cut out the design and now I'm going to weed it. Take it off of my mat. This should be pr a pretty easy weed especially since there's that nice box around it. Okay. Let's see. Not as easy as I thought. It's pulling up some of the things I don't want it to pull up. Okay, that looks pretty nice. Got a few things to get out. Okay, that looks like I've gotten everything out of there. So now I'm going to get my um, transfer paper. Okay, I have my transfer paper now. Hopefully this one's not too old. It looks a little, uh oh, it's not feeling very sticky. Let me try it. Start in the center, then I work my way out. And I burnish it down. Some little pieces here, so I'm hoping they're they're going to come up beautiful. Whoopsie. Always happens I speak too soon. <laughs> start it from the other side. Sometimes if something like that happens and you start again from the other side, it's that little S that doesn't want to stay. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and now I've got my wood cleaned and I'm ready to put it on the wood. Now I need to stand up to see exactly what I'm doing. And sometimes I feel I should mark these. Because I want to really want to try to center it well. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
I'm going to stick it down in the center first and then again work my way out to the sides. And I'll burnish it down. Okay, this is looking really good, you guys. And the actually the um, vinyl that I'm using today is from Joann's. It's Joann's Permanent. Went on there really nicely. Just going to make sure it's all burnished down well. So there's a good connection. And I think this is a really cute project, you guys. Great for gifts. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I really like it. So, now that you've seen this part, let's join me back at Cricut Design Space and I'll show you how to get to this point. Okay, here we are at Cricut Design Space and you can see this is the final product right here that I just cut and adhered to my wood. This piece over here was my work in progress. Okay, the first thing I did to try to find these images was I came up over here to images and I typed in branch as you can see here. And then I saw lots and lots of branches and I wanted one that was sort of thick so I chose this one I believe it was. And I went, I highlighted it and I said insert image. And then the next thing I did was I went up here and I clicked in bird and I hit enter and lots and lots of birds showed up. And as you can see, I ended up with, there were a lot of cute ones in here. I mean, you can choose any one you want. There are so much to use and access. I love it. I almost used this one, but I kept going and I found one I liked better. Oh, I've used this one before. <laughs> oh, that one's really cute. I could have used him. Isn't he cute? He almost looks like a baby. There's a cardinal. I almost did a family of cardinals. My sister would like that. I eventually got to this guy right here. Chickadee came from this cartridge called Spring Cottage. And there he is. So I clicked on him and I clicked insert. I just liked him because he was more realistic looking and he's standing on a branch. So I thought that would help. Then the final thing that I did was I got the dog. So again, I can click on this and I can right click and see the image info and the dog house and dog, it came together as a set I was able to um, get him out of the set. So there he is. So I did that and I said insert images. Okay, so we're back here now at this. Now let me see, what can I do? Can I make this a lot smaller? Because I'm going to use that as a reference and maybe use this as a reference. But I don't want them so big that they get they distract us. So the first thing I did was I took my branch and I made it a lot bigger. Now I had measured my piece of wood and I knew about how much um, how wide it was. So let's just for the heck of it, let's say my piece of wood was 10 inches wide. Um, so I can make this, I'll probably just make this like 9 inches wide and hit enter. And then it'll be whatever it is by the width. And then move him up here. The next thing that I did was I got the bird and I decided I was going to use him, like I said, but he's all grouped together with a bunch of stuff. So I had to click on him and then come up here to ungroup. And then I just started picking apart stuff and getting rid of what I didn't want. So that is what I do want. So I can highlight all of this at once and get rid of it. Now, you'll notice something on him. He's got this little eyeball. And I don't want the eyeball to cut out. So the way I got rid of that was just came over to contour. 
and then I clicked on the pieces I did not want to cut. And once I had done that, I could just exit out. And there he is. Now there was another thing I had a little bit of an issue with, and I'm going to make him real big for a second, and that was his feet. I didn't want his feet to actually hang over the branches and have these little nubbins <laughs> cutting out of my um, vinyl, so I got rid of them. And the way I did that was I came to Shapes, and I got a square, and I just took the square, and I took off the um, lock, unlocked it, and made it like longer, and I kind of rotated it around. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, slice those legs and feet right out of there. And it won't matter if they're terrible, really, really round because they're going to be hidden when I weld everything at the end, and you'll see. So I'm going to click on the square or the rectangle, hold down my shift key, and click on the bird. So two and only two things are sele selected, so that means I can slice. And I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need those feet. I don't need that box, and I do not want those feet. All right, so the only other thing I have to get ready now is the dog. And he also is grouped in with a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to come up here and ungroup. And I'm going to see what happens. Okay, that's the dog I'll need, right? So what I'm going to do is just highlight all of this stuff and exit out. Now, I don't want that roof or that other the sign. So the way I get rid of that is once again, I come down here to the lower right and I hit contour. So right now, these are all the things that are going to be cut out. And if I hide this, it will no longer cut. And if I hide this, it will no longer cut. So let's see if I did it right. Nope, while I was talking, I messed up. So let's go back again. We contoured out one thing. We need to contour out this. So I'm going to come down to the Contour button, click on it, and I don't want this to cut, so I'm going to click on it, and now I can X this out, and perfect, that's exactly what I want. Okay, so now I have my uh, branch that's the size I want it, and say there are um, a mom and a dad and two kids in the family I'm going to do. So all together I need four birds, so I'm going to duplicate one, two, three, four. Okay, there's the kids, and there's the mom and dad. And then the dog, of course, and I can make him a little bigger if I want or not. Okay, so what I'm going to start doing first is I think what I did was I got the big, this bird here, and I came up to flip and horizontal. I don't want him facing off the edge of the branch. I want him sitting like this, so he's facing on the branch. And if I want to, I can rotate him around a little bit. It's up to you how you do this, and you can make them larger, or smaller, whatever you like. So maybe I'll just leave him like that for now. And just so you can see, let me show you what's going to happen when we weld. If I just use these two pieces together, and I came down here to the lower right where it says weld, and then welded them together, it's going to look like that. Pretty cool, right? Okay, but I'm going to undo that because I'm not ready to weld all of this yet. So now I'm going to bring up another one, and this is going to be Mama Bird. And I guess I will have her flip also. So I'm going to come up to Flip Horizontal. And I'm going to bring her up here and maybe make her at a different, little different angle. Maybe like that. That's cute. All right. And then I will make this one stay in this direction. And I'm going to make it a little smaller because it's a kid. <laughs> and I like to have the tail hang down behind the branch because, watch, if I weld it right now, See, you don't notice his tail, and maybe you don't want to notice his tail. It's kind of cute like that, actually. But I'm going to adjust it 
because I do want to see his tail. So I'm just going to go like that and bring him down. And now watch what happens when I weld it. And now you can see his little tail. And now the littlest guy, this will be the littlest kid. I'm going to make him smaller. And I'm going to rotate him so that he's facing the dog that's going to be running up. So I'm going to flip, flip horizontal. And I'm going to put him up here. And maybe rotate him a bit. Um, whoopsie. But I'm not sure how I arranged them before, but I could mess around with the arrangement of this because I'm not crazy about how that's doing. So I'm going to make Mama a little smaller. This guy a little, rotate him a little bit more maybe. Maybe he's begging Mom for food. And this guy, I just don't know. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm going to like this yet. And this little dog, he's going to be running towards his family. So I'm going to flip horizontal and make him smaller so he's proportionate. All right. I think I want to make him a little bigger and rotate him a little bit. Man, they don't stand there. All right. I'm going to highlight all this and weld it to see how it's going to look. Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, so now I'm going to write in a name in here and let's just call it the Brown family. Uh, the Rice family, that happens to be my sister. And the font that I'm using, this is one that's on my computer. You might have it, you probably do. It's called Cooper Plate Gothic Bold. I like it, but you can choose any font you want. So I'm going to call this the Brown Family. And I'm not sure how this is going to fit to begin with, but I'll just try it and see if I like it. Okay. <clears throat> That's really not bad, but what I want to do is I want to change the letter spacing a little bit. So I'm going to come up here and bring my letter spacing together a little bit. And now I'm going to do something else. I'm going to click here and I'm going to go to advanced and ungroup to letters because I don't like how far away the F is from the rest of this word. So I'm going to grab the second part of the word and just move it over. Okay, I like it like that better. So I'm going to group all of this and bring it up here. And I'm going to unlock it so that I can stretch it however I'd like. So I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Now, you may see something you don't like here. For example, maybe this piece of this tree branch coming in here you don't like, <clears throat> which I wasn't crazy about on mine. So all I did was I moved this up here. And actually, I can move this down out of the way. And I came over here to shapes and got a square. And I unlocked it and made it the shape or size I wanted it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm just coming up here. And I'm going to delete that part of the tree out of there. So I'm going to slice it. So I have two things chosen. I can slice. Slice that little bit of the tree out of there. Because I really don't want it to show in my letters. Then I can bring my lettering back up here. And I like that a lot. So once again, if I want to, I can try it and see how it's going to look when I weld it. Okay, I think that looks really cute. Look at that little guy there. And then the only other thing I did was I came to text tool again and I put established ES. Well, I put a cat. No, I did a lowercase, I think. EST. Put it up here. 
and now I'm going to, I highlighted everything as you'll notice. I'm going to come up here to align and align, oh, center horizontally. So that moved that in the exact place I needed it. And now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to weld it all together. And that's ready to go. So all I would do now is go to make it. And this second one down here is showing up because I have those other items on my mat. So let me hide these. And once they're hidden over here and I go to make it, there's only one mat and this is going to fit on my mat. I'm going to come to the shape tool and get a square. I'm going to make this square, I'm going to unlock it, and I'm going to make this square 10.5 wide, and I'm going to make it 5.5 um, tall. So there's my square. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get another square. And I'm going to make this one a half of an inch shorter or smaller. So I'm going to unlock this. The original one was 10.5, so I'm going to make this 10. And the original one was 5.5, so I'm going to make this 5. And then I'm going to highlight both of them, come up here to align, and say center. Okay, notice over here in this panel I have two and only two things selected so I can slice. Take out the middle part, take out this middle part. But all right, so now what I would do is I would come up here, highlight all of it, and say align center, and then weld. And then I would go to make it. And there it is with the box around it. And I would go to continue. OK, so I must have made this too big. So let me make it smaller. All right, now it will work. It wasn't going to fit on my 12 by 12 mat. And I don't have a larger mat. So I was just going to do it like this. And I'd go to continue. Since it's regular vinyl and it's not heat transfer, I do not need to mirror it. Select my machine. And then I would select the material. It's called premium vinyl. And I'd click on this and start. So that's it. It's as simple as that. Hey, if you guys like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that little bell. And also check out my affiliate links down below. Um, if you're in the market to buy something, if you use any of my links, it gets me a teeny tiny commission. And that helps me to be able to buy more vinyl and some supplies that I need so I can make these sample um, tutorials for you. So again, thank you. See you again soon. Bye-bye.